What's going on? Where the hell am I? Hey, Rox. Guess where Kyle took us today? The Batay Clinic, room 302. Ring any bells? It was either that or jail. I'm hey, I'm Batay, my hotel. forget about getting even with Kyle for one damn minute, okay? You lied. You know who donated those stem cells. In fact, you set it up. And now that donor is dead, and I think you know about that, too. I don't know nothing. My head is all fuzzy. Maybe this will clear it up. We will forget that you lied about this rather dire situation. You agree to help us out. Yeah, why don't you help out your grandson, for God's sake? See, Kyle claims that he gave you an extra bag of blood from the patient in room 302. I love my grandson. I would do anything for Shane. I thought maybe someday he might need more blood. Give us the blood, and I will forgive you for every stinking lie you've been telling us. I don't have it anymore. That wacko nurse stuck me with a needle, and she stole the blood that could save Shane's life someday. What? I'm telling you the truth, Natty. That's how I ended up on the floor. You for real? I mean, I, th I think she has to be, because I don't even think Roxy would make this up. So who's this nurse, and what the hell did she want that blood for? I don't know. She said it was for someone she worked for, but she didn't tell me who. What about me? We're straight, right? You're not going to reinstate the charges. God, you know what, Kyle? You are the least of our problems right now. Kyle, get out of my sight before I give you the beating you deserve. Go. I didn't mean for this to happen. I love Shane. I would do anything for him. I tried to protect that blow with my life. Come on, Jared. I gotta get out of here. It's not you, Gigi, my God. I love you so much. Stacy and I, we... This could be Natalie and Jared. Hey, yourself, you look... Happy me. Uh, what happened? Rex is here and he knows everything. Oh, you told him? Yeah, you were right. He loves me, he believes me, and he, we're a team again. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for talking Gigi into coming clean with me. No, I just couldn't stand to see how much you were hurting. So it's okay now, right? It's over? Gigi told me you guys went to Kyle Lewis to cut him a deal to tell us who Shane's real donor is, so that's what you're here to tell us, right? You know the truth about... Shane's real donor. Oh, is that my delivery? Why, yes, you could say that. I want to thank you for our little subterfuge earlier. I don't want my family to know what I'm doing here. We'll never compromise your privacy here. That's a promise. Do you know who they were looking for? Yes, but that patient's long gone. As in dead? That's what the records say. You're telling us the person who saved Shane's life is dead. Roxy knows about it, and she won't talk. No, I know, Rex. I mean, I was so mad at her, I just, I could scream. But I did believe her when she said whatever she did, she did for Shane. I mean, she, she kept the blood. Yeah, except somebody came in and stole it from her. Yeah, well, Natalie thinks that it's too crazy even for your mother to have made up. Yeah, I, I mean, she claims that someone drugged her, the nurse stole the blood, and, and then just took off, so. So she has no idea where it is now. The blood's gone, the donor's dead. Are you telling me that there's nobody to save Shane if he relapses? I'm sorry. I'll go get your money. That won't be necessary. Here. We have to find that blood. How? And who cares about this blood besides us? And where is it now? <laughs>